Hello, I'm Danish Khan from the Economic Times Telecom and today we have uh, Mr. Nunzio Mitella who is Senior Vice President and Head of Market Area of India, Oceania and Southeast Asia. We are going to discuss uh, how Ericsson sees India as a market in terms of 5G deployment and the trends that we are going to see. So Nunzio, welcome to the show. How do you see India's 5G journey one year down the line? We last year at the same event we announced 5G, Bharti Airtel announced and one year uh, uh, into it. How do you see uh, India's 5G journey so far? First of all, India can be really proud. It's a lot to celebrate. In only 12 months, I mean, we have one of the best 5G networks in the world already up the ramad. And uh, it has been um, the fastest, but also the most comprehensive in terms of coverage. Yeah. This is second to land. Never anything like this has happened before. But at the same time, also with great quality. Because if you look at the customer satisfaction, you can see that in India we have 13% of, uh, of the 5G of the, the 5G user. They get the highest satisfaction. They get 15% of the satisfied 5G users more than uh, in the Gandhi adopter uh, uh, market. Meaning that countries like US, Japan, they have less satisfied customers than India. And they started four years ago. Right. And uh, both the telecom operators, uh, uh, Indian telecom industry at large, is now talking about 5G monetization. We have seen the announcement of FWA service by both Bharti Airtel and Reliance uh, Geo. So how do you see their move? Do you think that this is a stepping stone towards uh, 5G monetization? And are we going to see more... Uh, uh, real use cases uh, which are going to help both the telecom operators? What is happening in India is uh, very much what we see in the rest of the world, but at highest speed. For example, we already gave 100 million 5G up, which is remarkable in only 12 months. And by year end, we will add another 31 uh, million 5G up. Right. And uh, by the way, the 5G up will become 700 million in, uh, in the five years to come. Right. So it's kind of going very, very fast. Meaning that 5G is offloading for g Meaning that part of the business case is on a giving better quality to the existing 4G subscribers, but also having growth for getting more 4G subscribers in. Don't forget, India will grow from 800 million up to 1 to 2 million mobile groups at South in the next uh, five years. So you need 5G for that. That is the enhanced mobile growth. Then you have fixed wallet success, and of course, I mean, we will see going forward applications like gaming or based on AR, VR, and who knows what. I mean, right. I mean, you cannot even imagine what will happen in the next uh, four to five years. Right. 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 So, uh, do you think that um, uh, Indian telecom industry should be more aggressive in terms of finding out uh, more use cases, uh, 5G use cases? We have very limited use cases as of now, and the global use cases might not be relevant, really relevant for the Indian um, uh, consumption. I think this is a very relevant question. I think if you look at India now, the ecosystem of India, I mean, first of all, you have the government fully supporting uh, the, the digitalization of the country, right? Right. Number one. And they are really focusing. I mean, you see from UBI, you see from uh, all the software platforms, which now uh, the public administration is using, which by the way, there are 50 countries outside India that would like to use what India is doing. And this is a proof line. Then you get 100,000 startup certified. Right. 100 unicorns. Yeah. All this massive ecosystem will leverage on 5G and develop applications which will innovate India, mm. but it will be used right. to innovate in the rest of the world. Right. So my point is that mm -hmm. what 4G has meant for China and US, now the big chance is for India. India can really leverage on 5G and because of the ecosystem, right. be on the leading mm. of the program in the world. Sure. Last question on 6G. A lot of uh, uh, stuff is being said about how India could play a role and uh, really have a say in 6G standardization process. So do you, do you see uh, India being um, uh, really important in this 6G journey, like helping uh, set the 6G tone? For what I said before, yes, it is extremely important because you have the right environment. And because of that, 
We have decided to open a six G R and D center in India. Right. We get it in three places in the world: the U.S., Sweden, and India. Right. Because we believe India is the right place to be. Mm. And uh, for what I said before, also the way the government has been using mm. the spectrum for five G, and the focus they give, the understanding and the importance they give to so. digital infrastructure, then India will do the same. Right. For the for the new spectrum, okay. that is a, another reason why right. it is important to stay in India and right. be in India when it comes to 6 Because right. maybe it will be the first country to, mm. Mm. to release the spectrum. Right. Sure. Any any last comment on the Indian market? Like, how do you see India 24 months down the line? Your comments? It's I think it's a huge opportunity for 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 the whole India ecosystem, for India as a country. And for go and of course also for our industry. Right. Think about the millimeter we fix the one is success. Right. All the new applications that we sure. deployed. Right. I think India is the great is a is the right place to be. Sure. Thank you very much, Nanzio, for doing this. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Right.